Gravity. 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 If Oscar had a medal count like the Winter Olympics did, then one could say the race wasn't even close. Alfonso Cuarón. Gravity took home Oscars for seven of its ten nominations, including Best Directing, Best Film Editing, and Best Cinematography, making it the biggest winner of the night. That's if you measure Oscar might by the number of statues rather than the prestige of a category. And in that case, 12 Years a Slave had a gold medal night. And the Oscar goes to... 12 Years a Slave. As the film was recognized with three Oscar nods, including Best Picture, and in the process, made history, becoming the first movie by a black director to win Best Picture in the Academy's 86-year history. The film also won for Best Adapted Screenplay and Best Supporting Actress. Lupita Nyong'o. Kenyan actress Lupita Nyong'o won that category for her powerful portrayal of Patsy, a tortured slave. It doesn't escape me for one moment that so much joy in my life is thanks to so much pain in someone else's. And so I want to salute the spirit of Patsy for her guidance. It's her first Oscar for her first feature film role. She was still a student at Yale Drama School before being cast for the part. After this win, she's now become Hollywood royalty. Perhaps just as impressive, the sleeper low-budget film Dallas Buyers Club also took home three statues, including Jared Leto for Best Supporting Actor and Matthew McConaughey for Best Actor. To that, I say, all right, all right, all right. And then I say, just keep living, huh? Frozen won Best Animated Feature Film, and Australian actress Kate Blanchett took home her second Oscar, winning Best Actress for her role in the movie Blue Jasmine. But the most nominated movie of the night, American Hustle, went home empty-handed. Critics say the competition was just too fierce. It was billed as the tightest Oscar race ever, and indeed, it lived up to that billing. Yekenda McGahee, CCTV, Hollywood, California.